When we look at the hybridization for OF2, this is oxygen difluoride, we're trying to figure out how the atomic orbitals, the S and the P orbitals on the central oxygen atom, how they mix, and then how those mixed orbitals overlap with the other atoms, with the fluorine atoms here. In short, we end up with sp3 hybridization for OF2. And here's how we figure that out. We start with a valid Lewis structure. If you need help with that, there's a link at the end of this video. Once we have the valid Lewis structure, we're going to look at what's called the steric number. All the steric number is, is that's just the number of electron domains, sometimes called electron regions. So we have one, two fluorine atoms, they're bonded, and then the lone pairs on the central oxygen. We have one, two, three, four. Steric number of four, sp3. So that's one way you can figure out the hybridization of OF2. Here's the other. We can also count the number of sigma bonds and lone pairs. So a sigma bond, that's a single bond. So we have a sigma bond right here and here, and then we have a lone pair here and here. One, two, three, four, sp3 hybridized. So again, OF2 has sp3 hybridization. There are some exceptions to this technique, this process of finding the hybridization of a molecule, and there's a link in the description that details some of those. Again, what we're looking at is how the orbitals, the S and P orbitals on that central oxygen, how they mix to be at a lower energy and then overlap with other atoms like the fluorine. The fluorine itself would also be sp3 hybridized, and you can figure that out using the techniques that I showed you in this video. This is Dr. B with the hybridization for OF2, oxygen difluoride. Thanks for watching.